Hello everyone and welcome to the Ninja Trader webinar room. Before I begin, I would like to do a quick test of picture and sound. So please type in an A for audio and V for visuals if you can hear my voice and see the slideshow projection on the screen. All right, it looks like I am coming in loud and clear. Thank you, everybody, for confirming that for me. We have a very special event for you today. We have Rob Graham of eMini Sniper ready to give you a wonderful presentation. NinjaTrader is pleased to sponsor weekly partner events as a value-added service for our clients. These events are intended to provide increased exposure to the various trading styles and methods taught by our partners. So if you find value in these events, we hope you will attend them on a regular basis. Also, one more item to briefly mention for those of you who are interested, NinjaTrader has added more free online training events throughout the week, including uh, weekend events as well also, so you can also log in on the weekends and get the same great training that we have during the week. We actually have an ATM or Advanced Trade Management Level 1 webinar uh, right after this presentation, so feel free to stick around for, this, uh, for that uh, webinar if you'd like to learn more about Advanced Trade Management and what it can do for your trading. And here's a link into the room here so that you can go ahead and view all of those training events as well. Now I'd like to go ahead and ask a quick poll in the room. So I'm going to go ahead and get that added in here. And this is just asking if you are currently using NinjaTrader. So go ahead and press the green one if you are a live license user. Press the red two if you are a free license user. And press the orange three if you are not yet using NinjaTrader. Now while you are filling that out, I would like to mention, if you have any comments or uh, you would like to share with us about the presentation or even questions to learn more about the NinjaTrader software or eMini Sniper and NinjaTrader, please feel free to send a note to sales at ninjatrader.com and we'll be happy to answer uh, any questions that you may have. Now it looks like uh, most of you did get a chance to fill out that poll, so let's go ahead and go over those results. So it looks like in the lead here we have our live license users with 61% of you in the room. Uh, welcome here today to this presentation. Always great to have you here. In second here we have our free license users with 23% of you in the room. Uh, excellent to have you here as well. And last but certainly not least we have our uh, those who are not yet using NinjaTrader with 14% of you in the room. Great to have you as well. Now, if you are one of those in attendance who has not yet used NinjaTrader, I'd invite you to download NinjaTrader absolutely free and get started with simulation trading, advanced charting, market analytics, and strategy development. This free version of NinjaTrader that you can download from the following link has no expiration date, so you can use it for as long as you like. Uh, and uh, So go ahead and get started with that, certainly. The only thing that you can't do within the free version of NinjaTrader is trade live to your brokerage account. The only time we ask that you purchase or lease NinjaTrader is if and when you are ready to start trading live. The best value would be to purchase a lifetime license for a one-time payment of $9.95 which allows you to receive all future upgrades and releases as well as support from our excellent support team for life. There's also a four monthly payment option for that lifetime license as well and you can learn more about that at that link that I just pasted into the room for you. Now if you're not quite ready to purchase a lifetime license, please take a look at our leasing options. We have many leasing options available where you can try trading live with NinjaTrader on a shorter term basis. And here's a link for those as well if you'd like to take a look. Now it's also important to remember that NinjaTrader is not a broker or a data feed provider. So you will need to connect to one of our over 100 supported brokerages or data feed providers worldwide. If you are looking for a data feed provider, I would recommend looking at Kinetic, NinjaTrader 7's preferred data feed. Kinetic provides free end-of-day data for stocks, futures, forex, ETFs, and indices and is pre-configured within every NinjaTrader 7 installation. Kinetic also provides fast, unfiltered tick data, and the streaming quote services start as low as $50 a month, and you can even have your CME exchange fees waived with a qualified brokerage account. So please visit this Kinetic website to learn more about what they can offer you. Now, I did mention that uh, there is a pre-configured end-of-day connection uh, for Kinetic within every installation of NinjaTrader. So that means if you are the one of those who are not yet using NinjaTrader and you downloaded from that link that I pasted into the room, you can get started viewing daily, weekly, monthly, yearly charts absolutely free within NinjaTrader uh, just by connecting up to that. 
Well, we're very excited for this unique event with Rob Graham, and his topic for today will be powerful e-mini sniper trading strategies. So please join Rob as he addresses specific uses for each indicator, such as how to adapt them to your trading style. Thank you again for your attendance today, and without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the Ninja Trader webinar room, Rob Graham of e-mini sniper. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. How's, um, how's audio? Is it coming through? Coming in just fine. Violet. All right. That sounds great. All right. Well, I really appreciate uh, one Ninja Trader for hosting this event. Really appreciate that. It's a very nice thing that they do for people that aren't exposed to these different systems. And, uh, and really appreciate that, John, for hosting. And um, everybody for coming out because I know uh, tomorrow is a big holiday for a lot of you. So, uh, you know, appreciate you um, showing up. And I know a lot of people have shopping to do and that kind of thing. So. All right, we'll get started. I see a lot of uh, current members, old members, and, and new faces, so thanks for that. Um, all right, start out with the disclaimer. We all know that there's a risk involved in trading, and of course, uh, past performance is not indicative of future results, so we all just want to be aware of that. Um, you know, only trade with money that uh, you're comfortable with. Um, as far as... Um, the E-Mini Sniper Trading Room, its hours are 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and, of course, you know, holidays. We won't be open this Friday. Um, I want to say um, if anybody does decide to sign up, um, I will push your membership back to a Monday so that you get about 35 days out of the first um, uh, month with the room. The website is eminisniper.com. Feel free to uh, check it out. Contact me through that. We do have free trials monthly, and if anybody can't make the trial dates, let me know. I can give you the password for the day. You're welcome to come into the room and check things out. Uh, my email is info at eminisniper.com, and if you want to Skype me, I'm eminisniper1. Um, I've uh, traded stocks and options um, quite a while ago. Um, then when I started getting involved in futures, uh, I started with ES. Um, I found it a little slow for my taste. So I've been trading um, CL, EMD, uh, Russell, and DAX um, primarily, some Euro. And I've been running the room for a couple of years now. Uh, that's a picture of me, my wife, and daughter. Um, the trade room, the trade room is $199 for the first month. I am um, letting everybody have 10% off who wants to sign up. Um, and then after that, it's $99 a month. When you get uh, your trade room membership going, you are going to have access to the three E-mini sniper indicators. That's uh, the E-mini sniper, E-mini diver, and E-mini targeter. Uh, we're going to be looking at those, how we use them individually and in combination, and that's very powerful. All right, um, we are looking to simplify our trading. Um, you know, trading is difficult to do, but uh, sometimes the market gives you some, some fairly um, good indication of, of what's going to happen, and uh, the indicators are, are pretty uh, powerful at pointing that out. Um, we are looking for tight stops. I'll show you where those stops are for each of our entries. Um, as far as uh, targets on our trade, we have a couple of different ways to manage our trades. We can use our target or indicator to let us know how far these trades might run. Um, you can use a static um, target, certainly, if that's your preference. Um, and then we also have trail dots that are customizable for um, whatever your trading style or you know how much room you allow your uh, trades to breathe. Um, and then as far as um, the indicators, I happen to use a three-range chart, um, and I double-check my trades on a six-range chart. Now, some people do use uh, Renko charts. That's their preference. Um, we'll take a look at that. and. Um, and see how, how the uh, signals look on that kind of chart. Um, our E-mini sniper indicator, that's going to offer with trend only signals. E-mini diver can be set up to show with trend and counter trend signals. And then targeter, you can use that in combination with either of the other indicators or there's um, you know certain members that just use it all by itself. It's a, it's a very powerful method. Um, in the trade room, we're going to be watching CL, uh, DAX, Euro, Dollar Index, EMD, and the Russell. Um, we do look at the three range primarily, and then I'll drag over a six range chart just so that we can put um, where we are 
in perspective. Sometimes the three range chart will be fairly choppy, but the uh, six range will tell us exactly what's going on. Um, and then as far as news goes, sometimes we will get a very uh, attractive trade setting up just prior to a news release. Um, it is best to let that play out. The news reaction may not be what you expect and you may get whipsawed. And then if there's no trend, um, my preference is not to trade. Uh, I know that some people like trend reversals off of a sideways channel and um, Diver is very good at spotting those trades, but it's, it's not my preference. I think that there's a easier trades to be done. We'll go over the indicator package. Um, E-mini sniper, that is um, primarily what I trade. Um, as far as looking at the signal, we're going to have our trigger line. That's going to be this white dash line that we see. Our stop is going to be the tip of this arrow. So that's going to be two ticks beyond the swing high. And then you can see our trail dots will allow us to take advantage of this trade. Um, we'll see charts in just a minute that's got targeter on it that can uh, allow you to um, trade and um, pick your targets that way as well. Uh, here we have another short. This is our entry line where we see um, this text. This is our entry. So that's going to reflect um, the same level as our, as our dashed white line. And then we have um, another trade here. This is a with trend only signal. It can't be adjusted. Um, certain things can be adjusted. You can have it identify less trades, um, you know, or whatever your preference is on that. Um, as far as uh, our diver indicator, these trades are all with trend for us. When we say with trend, we're going to we mean we're going to be looking for longs above our moving average and shorts below it and our moving average will be green in color if we're looking for longs. Um, so the, this just happens to be uh, with trend. Um, we'll, we'll be seeing with trend and counter trend to see kind of um, the advantages and disadvantages of both. And then this is our targeter indicator. This is going to be in our lower panel. Um, what we're looking for is we're going to be um, shown a signal. What we want to see is our green line crossing this dotted magenta line. That's going to um, cross, uh, kind of doing this X formation. And then it's going to hook down and follow as the trade progresses. And when they cross again, that's a very good exit point. Um, sometimes our trail dots will allow us to stay in a trade longer. But um, when these cross again, I would like to be out of the trade because um, that uh, usually means we're going to get a retrace there, and uh, I don't I don't care to fight that for my trading. So here we have an entry, and what the targeter is identifying as the exit. Um, this would be a little short um, entry here, and we can see that we're hooking right here. So essentially a flat trade in here. Um, this is also pretty far away from our lower bands. We like the entries um, relatively close to our band. We can't always get a touch of our band, but the market is usually going to retrace a little bit closer, and those are going to be our preferred entries. Uh, hello, Kenu. Um, all right, so now we have our next um, short. Here's our entry. Here's our exit. So that's both identified. Um, we have our cross down. And when they cross again, that's a nice exit point. Um, same story, cross, exit, cross, exit. So. Um, that's uh, it, it's very powerful in itself, and if you're just looking at the lower panel, um, you can see that uh, it's identifying the trades uh, just as well as the sniper is. But um, using both in combination, it's it's very nice. Now, as far as um, our entry price that's identified on our white dotted line and shown next to the arrow, um, that is uh, an entry that I'm going to take because it's confirming a one, two, three reversal pattern on our, on our retraces, and I want that to um, lock in. So um, say, for example, we might initially show the arrow here, price retraces more, and then this arrow is going to move up to this candle, and that reversal pattern hasn't locked in and wouldn't touch where our entry price is. So then we keep retracing, and this will adjust, and then when the reversal pattern locks in, that's not going to move again. Now, when you get a diver signal, um, let's uh, let's look at a long here. We'll come up with that diver signal in, in a second. So this is longs. Longs are um, often choppier trades. 
Um, and sorry, I'll get to all your comments in just a second. Um, longs can be choppier, and so smaller targets are nice. Um, you know, the last three days we've had some really excellent downside pushes, and um, you know, for me that is definitely my preference is to take the shorts. Um, all right, so we're seeing the longs. We see where they cross again. That's um, an exit now. Um, as far as our confirmation goes, that's this little triangle here. Um, and we get that generated when our green line crosses this kind of plum colored midline. And then as far as our next long goes, we don't get that because our targeter is in the wrong um, scenario. The green is below the dotted magenta and we're looking for it to be above. So we pass on, on this signal. Then we get this signal here. Now this is going to show us upside divergence and I'm assuming pretty much everybody's comfortable um, on divergences. This means that we have a lower low in price and a higher um, bottom on this, uh, this green. So um, this is going to show us upside divergence and we're going to see a nice long scenario that plays out. All right, let me see. I got to answer a couple of these questions. All right, so um, <laughs> I've been asking a lot while I've been chatting. Um, what markets? Okay, they work on all markets. Um, isn't it just stocks? Uh, it's not. Um, there's a, a lot of things that the um, indicator will look at, and um, the stocks is part of it, but there's a lot more involved in it. Um, sorry for being late. would like to know what time frame the chart is. Uh, we're looking at a three-range chart, Trader T. Um, are these ADX, Parabolic, MACD indicators, or are they custom? Everything's customized. I've got actually two programmers that work for me. One that's developed um, all the uh, all the diver, targeter, and um, sniper signals. Um, and thanks, Call, for the three and the six. Yes, um, and they're range charts. Um, and you can increase the range to your preference. Yes, Joy will definitely be looking at um, a six range chart and uh, what we use it for. Um, all right, so I think that's all the questions for the moment. All right, so um, the chart on the left is a three range. The chart on the right is a six range. Now, we can see how choppy uh, that we are initially on our three. And you see we start actually um, showing some longs. Um, the longs wouldn't be of interest to us because we are looking for our green to be above our um, dotted magenta. So we would pass on this signal. And we have no confirmation here. So the longs, um, you know, we would be kept out of this even though our um, moving average is green, but it's basically just a flat box. So um, this is a, a, a no trend, no trade area. We don't really care about it. Um, maybe on this we would say, okay, we expect a pretty strong reaction on our moving average. And, you know, this is probably a 10 to 12 tick trade. This one's probably, you know, three or four, but again, our targeter is not showing us what we want to see on this trade, so we wouldn't be a bit interested in this. Now, this is our six range. Our six range is showing us everything that we want to see. It's showing us a double top, short side divergence, cross, um, trail dots kicking in. Uh, if you were using the exit for targeter, that's probably right in this area, but still a substantial trade. This is about 70 ticks. Um, targeter um, on that cross would give you about 40. So, um, you know, I don't know what everybody's uh, daily target is, but um, that would certainly be ample for what I look for. Um, all right, I'll catch up with the questions. All right. Um, okay. All right, so Paul's asking um, average risk to reward. Um, Paul, a lot of times I will. For every one of these um, trades, the uh, stop is generally six to eight. What we're looking at, these are Heiken Ashi candles, so they can vary in length. It's this three range chart. If you use a straight three range chart, it would be three ticks per candle. So essentially, it'd be, you could have um, a six tick stop every time on a three range. But if you move to Heiken Ashi's, it will extend the length of these candles um, somewhat. You can have some three range. Um, three tick candles, but you may have some that are longer in length, like even six ticks, what have you. So our average stop is about six to eight on what you're supposed to use. And um, as far as risk to reward, 
Um, it's very strong if you use uh, the trail dots. Um, what I would, what I usually recommend on the trail dots is if you're trading two uh, contracts or more, take off half of your position at four, five, six, what have you, whatever your your favorite is. They basically um, all hit, you know, many, many times a day. And um, and then use your trail dots to manage your trade and really get some substantial moves. Um, if you're trading our signals off of a six range, we have one of the members in here actually that is, um, uh, he goes for 10 every time um, using Targeter and with trend trades. Um, you know, our members have uh, very good high probability trades. They adapt the style to what they like. So some only trade off our moving average. Some only, um, you know, there's just different scenarios. I'll point out a lot of that, that kind of thing in just a minute. Um, yes, you can increase the range to your preference, Joy. We, we definitely um, have people using six and eight range charts. Um, we have people using eight six and four Renko charts. Um, so there's definitely a lot of flexibility. And we have people using these signals to trade all kinds of things, not just futures. Um, all of these entries and exits automatic. It's not automated, Joy. Um, for CL, use the three range chart. Yes, I do. Um, can this be used with a 610 chart? Uh, Trader T, it can. I have had some people ask um, as far as uh, chart types go I've had you know people ask for like 2800 minute charts and it's not enough candles to produce anything of interest um, you know I loaded it up and it shows like three candles I'm not going to be able to get generate any signals out of that so we do want to you know at least have some candles print I know some of the markets don't move very much so some people trade bonds and on my three range chart it's you know it's like only four or five um, signals a day and that's great you know DAX is going to be 500 signals a day you know um, CL is going to be hundreds of signals a day so um, what we want to do is look for the best signals that's why I'll, um, I'll kind of tell you guys as, as far as um, the trades that we want to take and just let the other ones pass you know take your recognizable trades don't trade through chop there's going to be plenty of opportunity um, all right. Um, uh, with 199, do we own the indicators? Jan, it's a it's a lease on the indicators. It goes down to 99 bucks a month. You get the trade room every day. You get access to the forum, and you get all three indicators. Um, yeah, uh, uh, profit factor or back testing results. Thanks. I don't have it. Um, I would I would like to have it thrown into a strategy and give you a firm number on it but I do not um, have that available just because the programmer, there's too many things that the signal looks looks at and the programmer couldn't, um, has not been able to put it into a functioning st strategy that replicates what the signals identify, if that makes sense. Um, and hello, Wooter. Um, thank you, Wooter. <laughs> and uh, Keiko, yes, it can be used on Renko. And what makes the arrows print? Is it an algorithm? It's just um, what the programmer has put together. It's looking at um, different price levels. Like I said, it is looking at a, um, a reversal pattern to show us these entries. And I use the sniper signal, the entry price, and targeter to show us everything that we want on these trades. All right, um, so I love the questions, by the way. Keep them coming. Um, and, um, you know, if you, if you think of any more, uh, let me know. Okay, so um, here's a box. Um, now, we can see I don't have tar the targeter panel shown, but, you know, these, these trades are substantial trades for sure. They're, you know, they're, two of these could, could have you hit your daily target. I don't ask anybody to trade, you know, the thousand signals we see a day. I, you know, it's clearly not worth it. Um, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I, I don't drink enough Red Bull to, um, be, be able to keep up with all of the signals, but just a couple can definitely have you hit targets. My personal target is about 20 ticks a day. That's what I'm looking for. I, I find I can hit 20 ticks a day. And if, 
if I am taking silly trades, I can I can lose it and then I can get 20 right back again. Today was a good day, you know, it was very easy trading. I was closer to 40 ticks, but um, we have members that are looking for, you know, 70 to 150 ticks a day. And for that kind of thing, um, they are looking at larger time frame charts and um, some of these other things that, um, you know, um, that we'll get into in just, in just a minute to uh, look for some some bigger, not as um, scalp kind of uh, trades. Um, all right, so um, this is a, a for Renko chart. This is what the signal looks like. Uh, Renko, it's a little bit sharper in its movement. Um, if you're familiar with this kind of char uh, chart type, it's um, kind of these uh, very strong peak and valley looking um, things. It's not exactly my favorite um, as far as looking at our targeter in the lower panel. It's kind of uh, sharp and hooky, and I'm kind of used to um, seeing that more smoothed out thing like we get on our range charts. But, um, you know, it, it does work. It's going to generate a lot of signals. Um, this signal right here, this is a little bit far away from our bands for my taste, but, um, you know, certainly still profitable. And, um, you know, this is, you know, this is whatever it is, maybe, you know, eight, ten minutes on a CL chart. And this is what you're going to be used to seeing is a lot of signals that are going to work out. And so definitely if uh, the charts are flat and not going anywhere, just give it a few minutes to um, play out because we will usually get a, a strong reaction if you just, um, you know, if you're just a little bit patient. Um, okay, so um, here we have a uh, uh, CL chart and we're looking at what basically um, we expect um, the market to respect our um, moving averages and when it doesn't if it gets into a big uh, push like this um, you know a lot of people like the fibs the Fibonacci numbers if you're familiar with them and you may sit at the 50 you may sit at the 61 8 um, you know, whatever your preference is or whatever you've learned, um, all of that kind of thing. Now, if you're sitting here, you're not going to be able to be involved in this trade. Um, if you're sitting at the 61, it's not even going to get close to you. To me, I think a very valuable application of the sniper is to identify the market's uh, FIB levels that it's going to retrace to. Now, um, I was a FIB trader, or at least I attempted to uh, for a while, and I would get some, some good trades out of it. But for one, I don't uh, necessarily trust that three fibs, uh, or at least these um, bigger uh, time frame fibs, are going to hit all in a row. Um, I don't. It's almost rare that two of them work out. Um, so uh, you know, um, but you may have better better luck with it. But I was basically in a position where I was saying, well, if I sit at the 50, it retraces to the 38. If I go to the 38, it retraces to the 61 percent. So I would either miss a trade or get run over as it retraced um, deeper than, than where I had my uh, stop. So um, that was definitely part of the thought process going into it. So we can see um, this initial trade here retraces to about um, you know the 38. So you give up a few ticks, but at least you know where the market's going to go to. Um, and a lot of people look for this minus 23% extension. It does eventually hit. You know, this is obviously a big trade. Uh, you know, about um, what? Uh, about 80 ticks or 60 ticks from this level. Um, now, if you had drawn a fib on this and you were sitting at the halfway back point, um, you'd probably get run over because this is, um, you know, more like a 90% a retrace on this move. So, um, you know, if that is something that you like to employ in your trading is the FIB levels, then I think um, you would find it very valuable. We've got uh, one of the members that looks at these levels on an eight range chart and really um, hits some gigantic trades daily. And I think that, um, you know, there's a hundred of you in here and, I, and I'm sure that um, scalping doesn't, uh, you know, interest some of you. You're looking for those bigger trades and and you know, if uh, if you kind of train your eyes, uh, Sniper is very valuable for that. All right, um, so here we have a diver chart. Um, this is the one that can be set up to show you uh, with trend and counter trend trades. Um, so here, uh, you know, we start out with this this cross up on this reversal. 
this is not really my favorite place to, to, um, to take a reversal. I like to be further away from the bands and then have um, the diver signal identify a retrace back to our um, lower band in this case. So uh, we'll see that in just a sec. But this is some of that back and forth movement that some people like to trade in a channel. And uh, Targeter is very valuable as far as um, showing these. Um, it's going to show you when that move is over. Now you have a diver signal short. If you like that kind of trade, then that can show you um, a nice push. We get back to our moving average. Now we have a long signal. Um, and that is uh, this cross here comes up and then um, shows you when to get out of this trade. Now we take out this swing low and we start picking up some steam to the downside. Um, it's very important not to try to fight a trend as it develops, let it dry out, and then take advantage of diver signals that show themselves. The first um, couple are probably not going to be worth um, trying because you're going to have some breakout traders that are going to be sitting at these levels and, and trying to drive price. Now, I think that breakout trading is um, uh, not for me. I have tried it with uh, another system, and it was... Um, you know, um, not something that was at all effective for me. <laughs> so, um, you know, you would sit at this point up here, you get two ticks into it, and then you get a, a nice um, 25, 30 tick uh, pushback in your face. And then, you know, you might say, okay, well, they're going to break this line. Well, now you get uh, three ticks, and now it's, um, you know, uh, 150 tick retrace. Um, so anyhow, now we get to this, um, this point down here. We can see, um, you know, some of the people that just take the targeter signals, as the signals are going to trade without even running sni um, sniper or diver, um, these can show you some really nice profitable signals. Now, um, here we get a double bottom. It shows us very nice divergence. We get our diver signal, and where's price going to go to? It's going to go right to our lower band. Um, it may break right through, but you at least need to eyeball that as a potential place to exit, and that is um, what happens. Now we get um, nice divergence on this push-up. Um, divers identifying the trade for us, and then that's this next cross. Uh, we can see where targeter crosses again. We try not to fight that. It even has divergence up there. So where's price going to go to? It's going to go to our lower band again. Now we have our downside divergent trade here. We have another targeter cross. And our next push down, then what happens? We have our targeter cross back up. We get right to our lower band, we get our target across, back down, same story. So um, that is definitely a way to use a uh, diver. And if you can do two of these even, you can, you can hit a nice target on the day. Um, you can actually get into some scenarios where you can take the counter trend up, the short, the counter trend back up, and, um, and really, you know, um, it, can, it can definitely simplify your trading. Um, okay, this is uh, what we call a double signal. So in the room, we're going to see it in a minute. Um, we're going to be showing eight charts, and we have two CL charts and two Euro charts side by side um, in the room every day. And um, the chart on the right, that's going to be showing diver. So this is um, identifying a couple of short side trades um, that uh, the diver signal identified. We have our target crosses. I like to get the crosses above the midline, but um, you know uh, you can't always get what you want. Um, as far as a signal like this, they're both identifying a signal at the same point, and um, you can see that they don't have the same entry price because the signals don't have the same criteria that they look at. But these combination of um, of signals together, uh, they do have a lot going for them. Them, they have um, they have some downside divergence. They have a sniper signal, a diver signal, a target across on both charts. You know, um, it's uh, it's very very high probability on, on that kind of an entry. Um, as far as uh, the learning process goes, um, if you were interested in the room, uh, first thing you want to do is get comfortable with the method. Um, you get manuals for the indicators sent out to you. You're going to have access to the trade room every day. Um, we definitely want to uh, start out trading in SIM until you're um, comfortable with how uh, everything works and ask all the questions that you like. Um, 
stage two, learn what works for your style. So we have uh, every different type of trader. We have um, you know some that can take advantage of the UK market open, which can be a very a very uh, easy time to trade if you're that lucky. Um, that uh, 3 a.m. to 4 or um, whenever uh, the big move um, starts taking place, it's um, you know um, we'll look at some of that. It, it can be some 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 very nice trading. Um, you may like a static exit. Um, you may like the divergent plays only. Um, that's actually on this list as far as taking the easy divergent plays. Um, they line up for you. I'll actually get into those early uh, if we get a signal. If I'm if it's not a divergence play, I only get in at the uh, level identified by um, the text um, that prints on our screen next to the arrow. Um, the markets, we look at them in unison. Um, today was kind of interesting on CL because it was going up uh, after the crude oil inventories because it was about uh, 6 million barrels uh, less than expected. So that's going to drive price up. But everybody else st started selling off. So CL, you know, you had to, you, we don't try to guess which way the market's going to go. We just identify the trades. And if it wants to go, you know, uh, short for five signals and long for 15 or, or whatever, you know, the, the indicator points that out for us. Um, always watching the larger time frame charts, um, you know, especially if we have just a completely sideways CL chart, for example, we look at the six range and it can show us exactly what's going on. Um, same thing with DAX, same thing with any of them. So a, uh, a kind of odd uh, retrace that we were in short side territory and now we've retraced um, rather deeply um, and, and the signal starts looking for longs. If you look at your six range chart, it can show you that it is strictly just a moving average test on your six. And then get comfortable with achieving a daily target. Um, you know, find out what works for you. Um, you know, we have the traders that go for uh, the big numbers, but they're also comfortable being 40 ticks in profit and having their trade come back and knock them out at break even. And um, you know that's not uh, not exactly my favorite uh, way to trade. I more like to get in and out, and that's why I don't um, trade ES or uh, Euro. Can be kind of slow after the U.S. market open, probably three days out of the week. Um, you know it'll it'll trend nicely about four to five days out of the week um, after the UK market open and then we um, we can get a kind of sluggish uh, market out of it. And then as far as stage three goes, um, making use of the trailing dots or e-mini targeter on the exits on a larger time frame, um, those, all of those moves where we saw the in and the out um, on our little three range chart, those are you know, 10, 20, 30 ticks they can definitely be um, more like 30 to 70 ticks on our six range chart. And also watching those Fibonacci retracement levels like we were talking about on the larger time frame chart. Um, those, if you stick it out to a double top or even a minus 23% extension, uh, those are big, big trades. And you know, if you hit two of those a week, that can be, uh, you know, extremely profitable for you. So, um, well, let's look at some charts. Um, got about 20 minutes left. Please hit me up with any questions. I'll scroll down. I haven't. Um, let me see. Sorry, did you say it was automated? Any plans for the future? Joy, I'm working desperately on that. <laughs> um, does this work on Forex? Lance, I don't have access to Forex. Um, but uh, so it, it, you know, if if you do great, I'm, you know, everything that we have is set up to work with um, with the NinjaTrader platform. So the markets I look at, it keeps me plenty busy. So I haven't really tried to branch out. But every time we have a free trial in the room, um, I'll, uh, while I'm answering these questions, I'll go ahead and switch over to our other. Okay, um, so we'll we'll talk about these in just a second. Looks like there's a little ghosting. Are you getting the leftover slideshow in the background? Um, all right, uh, let me see. Joy is asking, how do you overcome chop zones? Um, Joy, I I will definitely um, I will look at a chart in one second 
you know, because um, we, we kind of have little snippets on our three range charts. Um, I will look at those and if, if we're sitting flat, um, our trends, just so everybody's on the same page, it's going to be higher highs and higher lows to the long side, shorts, lower lows, lower highs. If that's not happening, um, then, you know, uh, we just let that resolve itself. Um, you know, these these markets that we trade really don't stall for that long. We always expect a good move out of the Russell, out of EMD. Uh, those I trade in combination where one will offer up a better signal than the rest. Uh, we'll kind of scroll on that. Um, scroll through some of um, some of that. Okay, uh, okay, Russell. Let's look at Russell today. Um, okay, so. Um, uh, pretty sloppy um, initially in, in the morning. Um, here's where our room opened at 8. So this would be a case where we have swing highs and swing lows. We're not taking them out. Um, we get, uh, here's our market open. Still nothing that ex nothing um, big to get excited about. If these bottoms, we were talking about in this in the room, if those two bottoms had showed us upside divergence, we would have said, okay, we're going to spring to the upside. They did not. They didn't show us anything close to that. So you just sit it out. Um, it's, it's really not a big deal. We're looking at swing highs. We're not taking those out. Um, we have a nice retrace here, pop up. We, we basically got to exactly the same point. Um, no clues in that. So um, now we have a bottom in through here, and we start taking it out to the short side. Um, our first signal after our cross down below our moving average is usually one that we like. Um, this is a non-confirm here because, you know, our green is not getting, you know, below the dotted magenta like we've been talking about. So here's our signal um, here, and here's our cross. Now, um, where they get out, this is where the targeter uh, shows us um, to get out. Sorry. Um, and that's going to line up right in this area through here. That brings us to our next signal. Um, next signal is kind of nice. Um, it's uh, showing us uh, downside divergence. So we have uh, a double top, but um, you know, uh, a lower high in that second peak. Um, it's showing us um, a target across. This is one of the ones where I like to be patient a lot of times, and um, and I do look for divergences all the time. Um, I, I find that they're real easy plays. And so then we have um, same scenario where targeter shows us to get out is um, basically right where well we run into our next signal. So now we have another targeter and another signal and it tells us to get out here um, basically milking these moves for you know as much as we want to see. This signal here we don't have our cross. We don't have anything that we're looking for. Um, we do get it here, pops down, goes um, about six ticks. Now this next um, signal, obviously, we get the target across, same story here, and then we start uh, breaking down. Now, um, you know, this is a funky week. This, unfortunately, we didn't get a signal on. I would have um, liked, I like this area. Um, this is a funky week. You know, it's got some some smaller volume. Today is the, uh, you know, biggest travel day of the year and all that kind of thing. So I'm sure a lot of people aren't trading. I've talked to a lot of people that aren't trading at all this week. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's going to uh, have some effect on the markets and, you know, we just have to uh, trade accordingly. Um, let's see. So, um, okay, here's my scroll bar. I was looking for that. Okay, um, so... This is this is just a, a couple of days. All right, so I guess we'll just talk about this. Um, all right, this is um, CL. This is uh, eight o'clock. Um, I guess yesterday. Um, I draw on the charts all the time in the room. I don't know if this is left over from that, but this is you know this is a very good signal for us. This is where we expect our reaction. Um, everything is is picked out for us as far as um, you know. We have our nice cross. We have everything that we look for. And when they cross again, you know, that's a, a nice exit period. Does does happen to run us into our next signal. Um, so uh, we get our next signal here. Uh, 61 entry goes down to about, you know, goes 10 ticks. Now we're, we're failing to take out the swing low, so we do have some consolidation in here. Um, you know, some of these moves are hitting some, some pretty substantial uh, targets. Um, and then this, you just have to expect that um, 
price is going to consolidate, and then you're going to get the big move. If you miss the big move, it's to be expected. You just have to, you know, let the market do it, and then go ahead and grab your retraces as your signal points them out for you. Um, now uh, here, same story. Um, didn't get a signal here. Normally we would have, you know, nine times out of ten you do. Um, all we are given is excellent divergence, our target or cross, and then our um, cross again down here basically around this candle. Now we're not taking out the swing low, and we've already done this test. When we, when we fail to take out the swing low, uh, you really um, have to consider that you're going to get a trend change. Now it is important to refer to your six range on these deeper retraces. Um, this is uh, 9 o'clock. This is right at our pit open. Now the pit open, that's a lot of orders getting dumped on the market all at one time. And so it's going to be very hard to predict exactly what's going to happen. Sometimes, just like news, you'll get a really good-looking trade, um, you know, divergence. It's you know exactly where you're expecting uh, on the retrace and all that kind of thing, and it's not going to work out. And that's because you know there is that whipsaw effect that can be associated with that. So um, we get driven down. Um, you know, we get into this kind of choppier longs. The longs. A lot of times you're not going to get anything close. They're usually going to be about the half the move of your um, of your shorts. So you know, choppy longs, choppy longs, whatever. Um, now we get to our market open. Same story here. Um, the market attempts to push down strongly, and it bounces right back up. Now you know I'm, I don't have a six range up to identify if this was a touch of you know of an upper band on the six range, um, but. Um, you know, we w we did keep seeing that scenario where things would um, would show us a, a false move right at a market open, right at news, whatever. Um, so we we have our longs playing out, um, and they're they're doing fine. This kind of long, this far away from our band, I'm not interested in it because um, what we're always going to be expecting is to bounce um, back up. So when we're further away. I am expecting the price is going to want to return to it, so I don't, you know, this isn't my move. You know, um, this is is my move. I'd rather take, I'd rather take a short to go back to our band than I would to take a long that's far away um, from from it. So now we have some consolidation. Um, we start getting uh, some of this uh, push up. Um, this signal. Um, we're not getting a confirmation on it. Now we come back to our moving average. You should expect some kind of reaction. It may fail to take out our swing high, but um, you know I don't know what this goes. Four ticks or about four ticks here. Now we gear up and we start. Um, we challenge a swing low down here. We see our push down, our next push down, and now they start getting lengthy. And um, you know that you just have to ride this kind of thing out. You know when. When price is just consolidated, just ride it out. Let yourself um, let the breakout happen. You know we're not breakout traders, so we wait for for our retraces and then start taking advantage of those moves. Um, this is all just stuff I marked up in the room, so you know I was telling the members about whatever at that point. Um, so here we get some shorts. Uh, this isn't really specifically my favorite kind of short. A little bit far away uh, from the bands. And you know, if you think about it, um, you could you know you could say, okay, well, this is a fib level, and maybe a 50% up here, and then you start getting into the people say, oh, it's actually from this level. You know, if you draw the wrong one, you're wrong, and you don't get the entry. But at least um, you know, sniper will allow you to. So um, we have a number of shorts um, playing out in here, um, and then we have our final signal here, and we are not. Um, we're not seeing our green cross below that dotted magenta. It's it's not a confirmed signal for us. Then price, um, you know, like a balloon, starts going up, and so now you can see that we have um, longs, 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 longs playing out. Um, and uh, you know, unfortunately, you don't get a signal in here, but you can see how many signals you do get. Uh, the DAX is ridiculous. DAX just acres of signals all day long, long shorts. You know, it's going to give you. Plenty of opportunity. If you take these three trades right here, you'll do fine. You know, um, and and it's going to give you many, many, many opportunities in a given day. Um, you know, I can scroll for a long time, and it's not even going to bring us to, you know, the UK market open. So um, 
if it's not a market that you've traded, at least uh, at least watch it. It's um, uh, the signals that it gives are you know it, it's not very tricky. I would say Russell can be tricky as far as uh, it likes to do the double retraces. So if you just take advantage of divergences on those signals, um, you know you'll definitely uh, do okay. I like to. Uh, that's exactly the way I like to trade the Russell is um, is using the divergences. Um, so right, let me drag this over real fast. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm missing any questions. So let me see. Uh, there's a big arrow. Okay, the little triangle. That's our confirmation. Um, and uh, you know, it, it basically generates um, when our um, targeter is uh, the green lines crossing that flat uh, plum colored line that's what generates this so you know if if you're not going to go below your 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 midline the trades not going to go anywhere um, and I, I'm always looking for the target across as well um, so um, here is some CL um, action from today and this is um, you know uh, a short and we get some some upside divergence. It pushes us back to our moving average. We have our next short um, runs into this little double bottom up here. You know, target across pushes us back down, and now we're failing to take out the swing low. So in, at that point, you have to consider that we're gearing up for a trend change, and then you start putting in your longs. Now you're going to get a lot of signals um, to the upside. So well, let's check this out. It's like 714 area um, on CL. Um, Okay. All right. So um, this is where our signal would start looking for longs, and um, because of uh, the depth of the retrace, um, you know, on the six range, it kept us into um, short side territory, um, like we're seeing here and here and here. But on our three, um, the signal is looking for longs. So that's when you want it to be aware. Here's our next short on the six, and so. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we talk about that in the room all the time um, so that the market doesn't surprise us when, um, and it basically is going to happen when, when you start looking for a, a trend change on the three, the six range will uh, tell you the story. All right, let me swap these charts around. Um, it, I've been uh, rattling on. I'll uh, try to get caught up with uh, chat here. Please let me know if anybody has any specific questions. Um, Okay, Aaron says, I am use candle charts. How does this work? Aaron, I'm not exactly sure uh, what you mean. Um, I, you can use these signals on a different um, candle type of chart. Um, you know, my preference is because I'm always looking for very small stops. Um, my preference is, is not to go with, say, uh, minute charts or anything where you're going to get that varying candle length. Um, I'm okay with um, the candle length that a Heiken Ashi chart offers because it's not horrendously different. But you know, um, you can see some of the candles, like you know, whatever around news time, can be very long. And as far as that tight little reversal pattern that we're trying to take advantage of, um, it is um, definitely um, will skew that and make our stop have to be um, you know, too big or, or what have you. So I'm always looking for that tight little reversal pattern to play out and then just put some logic behind it. Um, all right, Eric is saying, uh, can you say when the signal appears a bar or two? Can I say? Well, um, what ends up happening is when we get our signals, um, they're going to start looking for that reversal pattern, and then as price wants to say we're you know looking at whatever shorts, um, when price uh, continues to retrace, it will adjust because we're looking for the reversal and until that locks in the signal wants to stay fluid so that we can always get a better uh, entry price so um, when we're looking at I don't know say say this um, it may start showing us a, a short side signal and as price retraces we're basically able to
squeeze price against our reaction points um, and you can do it on your dome too um, and you can you know if the if the initial price is I don't know down here we wouldn't be interested but just um, say for for grins we can start dragging our price up on our dome and price cannot um, continue the trend without going through us so that's um, you know part of what the signals looking at um, how many contracts George you can start with one certainly um, you know uh, there's people that trade one and you know we have members that trade 80 so or one member <laughs> that trades 80 contracts but you know he does not have the biggest target in the world now um, you know and just just discussing you know number of contracts um, I've known many traders that trade the bigger numbers you know 20 35 80 what have you and they are hitting very small targets a day and and that is effective for them and so um, you know um, the one that trades 80 contracts he takes off half his position at two ticks he takes off um, the uh, a quarter of it at um, two more ticks and then um, you know basically six ticks is his, is his target and he you know with with that number you do have to trade ES usually um, you know it's, it can handle the volume EMD um, would not so uh, you know EMD is usually somewhere around um, you know a volume of around 8,000 and then of course you know ES is uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands every day um, J does your software no it does not Jay um, that was me also hey hey Rob you're a kindred spirit <laughs> uh, fibs can make you feel like fools breakout can make you feel like a fool also at least on fibs you're looking for a retrace but you get run over and you get left behind you get left at the altar um, but uh, yes as far as um as that goes you know sniper a big part of it was was trying to identify exactly where the market's retracing to and you know you can you can certainly look at everything that that I've got and you can um, bend over backwards and try to identify the same levels and the reversal pattern you know but it's a headache and so I keep my room cheap and we have a good time in it and um, you know my members are the greatest for sure um, Sorry, family. Okay, sorry, Ron. I hope everybody's okay. Uh, Trader T, which chart is better for the system three range or Renko? I'm I'm definitely uh, the type to work with a range chart. The Renko is just kind of sharp, and you know, it's not really visually. It's not what I'm used to looking at. Although, if it was all I had to trade off of, you know, you could make that work for sure. Uh, what are the bands? The bands just um they are uh about their 10 percent off of um, you know above and below our moving average and um, you know it's a it's a very good retrace point you don't um, you don't need to have them on your chart but um, sometimes the market will come up and test those test your moving average or right in the middle and so um, you know I find them pretty valuable um, is two consecutive loss trade setups very common or frequent? Um, Trader T, that's why you know when I'm trading, I'm only looking for when we get into a trend. Um, I'm also always eyeballing the six range chart, and so um, I don't, you know, as long as you're taking advantage of all the information available to you, I don't think that you're going to have um, many different many uh, losers in a row. I'll say that anyway. Um, it's a very high probability signal, and if you just, um, you know, uh, visually say, okay, you know, identify when we're in a trend, when we're not, um, you know, I, I think that you'll do very well with it. Um, does signals have alarms or or alerts? Yes, there are audio alerts, Jen, um, and we have those available in the forum, and. Um, Okay. Um, 
Will it work on minute charts the same? Yeah, James, I was probably late in talking about that um, uh, or seeing seeing your message actually. Um, the minute charts it can it can skew your charts because of you know um, just reactions to to whatever is going on in the market, and um, so it's uh, you know it's not my favorite. I I like to have a fairly standardized candle length. What about a five minute chart? Same story, Ali, Rob. What are the bands? Okay, we covered that. Um, TF charts, minute charts. Okay. Um, the bands are MA envelope. Yes, Edward. Yep, they are. And five minute chart, please. All right. Well. Everybody wants to see the minute charts. Okay, I will need to connect um, very quickly on that. I know I'm out of time. Um, John, yell at me if I need to wrap things up. I'm having to connect. Okay, well, having a little bit of issue. Um, show Renko bars. Okay, I can. I can show it in the slide. Okay. Uh, what's the length of the free trial? The free trial is three days per month, um, and it's usually going to be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This time of year, I am working around the holidays, so it's usually like the third week of the month. Um, but I had to move things up this month, so I ran the free trial last uh, week. If you if you need access to the room, if you need to see these things running along, um, you know, humming along, uh, definitely. Um, just drop me an email and I'll let you in for the day. Not a big deal. We don't really discuss anything, you know, that I that I haven't discussed here. You know, when you're in the free trial, it's no different than the room. The indicator costs every month, 99, including the trader. Yes, Heinz, it, um, it's 199 for the initial month. Um, everybody can have 10% off. Just um, let me know you attended the webinar, so we'll knock it down by 20 bucks, and then after that, it's 99 bucks a month. Um, free trial is 30 days. It's three days every month. Um, so it's just basically room access and watch them work. I've, you know, I've, I've given the, the indicators out, and it's um, it's kind of a hassle to uh, put the people in the system and get their machine IDs and this and that, and you know, um, so I I really attempt not not to um, you know send out the indicators because it's a big learning curve and and all of that. Um, today, okay, um, I guess Edward's <laughs> answering that. Um, there's a free trial. It's just room access, but you're basically watching the same things that you would on your own charts, Paul. Um, how many signals? Okay, well, there's you know, there's a thousand signals, and I don't I don't count them up, Trader T. Um, you know, of those that we can identify, what's going on in the market? You know, I would say the bulk of everything you're going to see is going to do just fine. But you know, is it going to go 50 ticks or is it going to go six? You know, um, that's going to be up to the market. Um, how many candles bars does it take to for the drone? Um, well, we're watching the targeter. Um, as far as uh, having it um, be on the okay, um, just reading John's comments to me. Um, as far as um, the cross goes, you can definitely have it set up to not be on the bar close, and it's going to um, show you the hook. But primarily, what we're going to be seeing is if the dotted line and the green line are nowhere close to crossing, then we know we're not going to get that the um, the cross just yet. When they start nearing each other, um, you know, uh, you, you can pretty much identify what's going to be going on um, very easily. But if the, if they're not even close to crossing, then you know, then just pass on the signal. Look for look at a different market. Come back to that trade. Um, you know, people think that CL is just such a fast market, and there are times when it'll print 20 candles in, you know, in three seconds. That will happen, but it's not the norm. You know, generally we can just watch CL, and it's, you know, it's uh, very identifiable what's going on with it. Um, you know, Ru Russell and EMD, same story. They're, you know, fairly slow. The DAX, I like it because it's, you know, it's a, it's a quick turnaround. The the trades are usually um, very fast, and as long as you're identifying Known known reversal points, your strat, your um, support and resistance areas, um, you know the di the divergences that you're looking for, you know all of this kind of stuff, um, you know to go along with your signal, you get your little double tops and uh, and all this fun stuff. You can you can hit these trades, um, you know left and right. There's there's a lot of of opportunity. Or if you want to trade slower, then just check it out on a six range and identify those. Um, longer time frame impossible. 
you trade the news. Um, canoe, I primarily try to stay out at least for a minute after news. Um, I, uh, you know, there can just be that initial whipsaw, like, you know, like today's news. It was mixed. Um, you know, we had uh, all kinds of numbers uh, coming out and at 8.30, and some was good, some was bad. So, you know, what direction are you going to take? Now, CL, um, you know, when we were talking about that news, the crude oil inventory numbers came out, and, um, you know, it was much worse than expected. So you're going to be looking for longs in that case just because, you know, less oil price shoots up, but everybody else was sinking at that point. So, um, you know, crude was not giving me exactly what I wanted just because it was bucking the trend. Everything that we have generally will, will trade in the same direction, um, but, uh, you know, uh, Euro will do it a little sluggishly. DAX will do it um, very haltingly. It will sh show you great um, trades, and then it'll it'll start uh, retracing and showing some longs. And then I'm just like, ah, you know, just stay out of it. Um, you know, everybody else was showing us nice downside, um, you know, predictable moves. Um, Wooter news is not true. Yep, thank you and happy thanks. And any success rate is um, I think that they're very successful. Most of my students have been with me for um, for a long time. The indicator costs every month. Um, Heinz, yes, it's 99 bucks a month for um, the indicator package and the room um, subscription. Um, stop loss for this method. It's always going to be the tip of our arrow. So sometimes that can be um, six ticks. Sometimes it can be eight ticks. It's just going to depend on the length of your uh, hike and ashy candles. Um, uh, yes, uh, trading room is included. Um, if we saw, do we get to keep the indicators and use the indicators? It is um, part of being uh, of subscribing to the room is the indicator package. So you know the indicators work as long as you're a current member. Um, does the arrow come re real time or is there a delay? The arrow will actually uh, come in real time and it will candle by candle retrace as price retraces and it will lock in once our reversal pattern locks in. Um, no, you lose the indicators. They're at least only yes, real time arrows, yes, no delay. Could you show the ES from 9:30? Okay. Um, all right. This is um, this is a couple of days ago, I guess. Um, we had good movement on ES. Um, it is the most sluggish market that we trade. Um, let's see. This is the the downside push um, that we saw after 11, but it was you know same story. Um, eight o'clock, nice trend after the market open. Um, a lot of uh, false reversal stuff. You know, we're we're, we're testing these lows, but showing higher di um, divergences to the long side. So it wasn't showing anything very exciting until you know um, it starts really uh, you know selling off um, later Asian market, all of that kind of fun stuff. So um, you know they had an easier uh, go of it. Um, here's today after you know, leading up to our 10 o'clock news. Well, we had 9.55 news today. So we got, um, you know, a few good entries out of that. And um, then some lackluster movement um, after lunch. And, um, okay, do we get, uh, okay, during the free trial, no. The indicators, you just watch them. Um, okay, Hind, I think you're all answered. And the bands we talked about. Um, yes, it will work with Renko bars, uh, Big B. Sorry, um, in the slideshow I was showing the four Renko bars, but I don't have them up handy right now. On CL, you have um, two. Okay, um, this. <laughs> sorry, I'm rushing. Uh, the right two charts, I have the diver signals on. Everything else that you see is a sniper signal. Um, yes, Lance, I, I I give you the charts. They're available in the forum. Um, and then um, uh, the candles I, I help you out with also. And then, um, okay. Um, Jay, no, I'm not. Um, that's not part of what the signals. Um, I was broker would be happy. Don't, <laughs> we're not looking to take everything, Joy, that's for sure. Um, can, of course, you can add any other indicators. Um, people send me their charts, and they have all kinds of indicators layered on them. You can call the signals I have in the room. I don't have um, a a call room. Everybody get into this trade now. Um, but as the signals develop, we identify them. We say, you know, what we'd pass on, what the market's showing us. And then we say, oh, okay, you know, here's a nice divergent signal on the DAX. Here's this, here's that. And so, um, you know, if you're in the room, you'll see that, that there are signals happening, you know, consistently. 
and um, you know you can miss nine tenths of them and still do fine. Um, okay, Heinz, um, diver signal on one chart and um, sniper on the rest. Um, yes, it can on tick charts, Richard, but it's probably you know I look at tick charts on gold and that kind of thing, and it's really kind of um, it flattens out the signals. Um, so it's not, um, I look at tick and volume charts with it and it's, you know, it, it just doesn't look as spectacular, but it's really going to just depend on, uh, the instrument. Edward, sign you up. It would be a pleasure to have you aboard, Edward. Definitely. Okay. Um, thank you, James T. Appreciate it. And, um, you can post the website link. Yep. All right. Thank you for that, Edward. And okay. I'm getting booted. Thanks, Rob. Okay, thank you, Avjeet. It's nice to see you. Um, and uh, Rob, are the trades called out when they are, are made? Um, as I, I trade on my own. Everybody in the room trades on their own, but we talk about the signals as they're made available. Um, great. Thank you, Joy. Really appreciate it. And it is open from 8 a.m. to 11.30. And um, CJ, just let me know, um, you know, when you sign up, just say I was in the webinar. Okay, I do need to wrap it up. I'm real sorry. Okay, so, um, yep, wrap it up, John. Thank you, everyone. And Shahab, you're awesome. Good to see you. And thank you, Yellow. <laughs> sorry, guys, it got to be kind of an auction at the end there. All right, thank you, Edward. Appreciate it. It's all yours, John. And thanks for being patient, Kyle. I'd like to give a special thank you to Rob Graham of eMini Snipers. Thank you so much for uh, uh, presenting here in our Ninja Trader webinar room today. And thank you for all the great questions for everybody who attended. I know there were a lot of questions there at the end. If you have any further questions, feel free to send them over to Rob. Uh, visit his website at eminisniper.com. I'll be happy to have you uh, join that free trial and join you in his room. Uh, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend. We do have a charting, or a, excuse me, an ATM uh, level. Uh, one webinar I believe here for you for uh, Kyle my colleague here is ready to present that into the room so definitely stick around if you want to learn more about that advanced trade management and here's a link to more of those free uh, training events as well again I uh, hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend and happy trading from everybody here at NinjaTrader